gentlemen, uh, Tyrese is all over social media again, again. Uh, you know, for, for being real, for being who he is, and being honest. He was on the Breakfast Club, crying, said his jury was fake. It's, hey, listen, you know, that's just him being honest. Tyrese ain't the only celebrity out there wearing fake jury. I told y'all a while ago, man, I hell yeah, I buy some fake jury. We just need to like to hit it. I ain't a man to hell. You know what I'm saying? You lose jury all the time because you be on the road traveling. You have, he said something about his housekeeper, you know what I'm saying, he left a pair of $250,000 earrings on the dog on nightstand. Next thing you know, that was missing. And then he asked about it, and all she said, well, I don't know, we look everywhere. We look everywhere, we, I don't know. Yeah, that's what happens. You bring somebody in your house to clean or do this and that. People start stealing your stuff. Why? Because they know you got it. That's what happens. So instead of spending all that damn money, like like my thing is this, my thing is this right here. Okay, I used to this I used to be the only one you pay attention when it comes to like fake jury and stuff, right? And I'm gonna get off of it after I say this. Like they used to be like the jewelers used to be like, oh this is a custom pendant for this person. This is a custom bracelet for this person. You know what I mean? And it costs X amount of dollars. My thing is, if it's a custom pendant for somebody and they wore it in this video and they bought it for $350,000 or whatever the case may be, why you still got it? Did you make another custom pendant? Why you got it if it's there? I mean, we maybe should see pictures of when you had it, but why you got it right now? If I pay $350,000 for something, I'm not taking my behind all the way somewhere just so you can show some cap. No! I'll send you some pictures. i send you a video or something. Why you got it? You got it because they, they, didn't, they never bought the damn custom pendant. That's why. You made it for them to wear and rent. They, they pay you to rent a pendant. That, that's there. And then when you get through, you're going to take the diamonds out, melt the jewelry back, and then make a custom pendant for somebody else. Fake jewelry. Buy you some land. Buy some stocks. Something. Some bonds or something, man. Please. Invest in some dividend stock. Do something. Ass walking around here. Brothers hell with no jewelry. Put your bunch of damn jewelry on. Just clank it, clank, 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 clank. Got a credit card bill, your stupid ass don't know how you gonna pay for it. But you're clanking. Just so you can go to the club. And you gotta pay for that with your dumb ass. Stop! Tyrese was crying. Yeah, go on and cry. Crying because he's been going through real stuff. And he got to survive in the, in, in the entertainment world. That's fake. Y'all better stop being admiring people that y'all think got life better than you. They don't. They don't. We all out here struggling. Life is ghetto, baby. It's ghetto. It don't matter. It don't matter what. It don't matter what's faster the life you in. It's get you. Get you. <laughs> so okay, I made a video already about uh, trying to impress people that don't like you anyway and i'm not being um offensive or sarcastic there but the reality is is a lot of times the people who we are trying to press to impress they are not really paying attention to us i remember i went not too long ago i went to my little dance class and so at the class people kind of you know dress up and everything so i had me on a little dollar cosmetic jewelry bracelet but it looked real it looked like it was a little tennis bracelet or something i cannot tell you how many times i was dancing with someone and it felt as if they were trying to snatch <laughs> <laughs> the jewelry off my arm. It's so funny because you got you a dollar piece of jewelry if you get it. You know, but back to what Shula King was saying, and the title of this blog is Why Do We Wear Real Jewelry When We Can Wear Cosmetic Jewelry and It Looks Just As Good? You know, so Shula King said, You know, this it's wonderful that you can afford uh 
you know, a $200,000 necklace. Okay, if I bought this necklace that I got on, it probably cost me maybe about 75 cents off Timu or something like that. Okay, my glasses cost about $2. $2. But you can find the name brand glasses just like this. And you end up paying $130 for them. Or the real pearl necklace, just like this, and you pay $100,000 for it. I don't know. You tell me. That just doesn't make sense to me. You know, you can use money wise. I got six kids, and they all going to need vehicles. You know, so parents are trying to save up. But I love the way Shula King's sentiment said that a lot of times we are living in a real world, and we are trying to uh, compete with a fake industry. But a lot of times what we don't understand is like Tyrese, a lot of these in these videos, and they got all these chains on. Sometimes, a lot of times that stuff is not real. They rent it out, you know, and so we just don't understand the, the concept. We don't understand what's going on, and we are using our energy to, again, try to please people that are really not thinking that too much about us. And, you know, I remember it was not too long ago, my son... It's, it's his time to be getting a car and everything. And so we said, what kind of car do you want? And so the first thing that he said as a 15-year-old, this is makes sense for a 15-year-old to say it, but he said, I want a BMW. Okay, so mama and daddy, we are totally laughing, you know, because baby, you need a little Honda or Toyota to get yourself from A to B. But why do we purchase these kind of things? One reason is, is because, or let me say this, why do I have a BMW instead of a Honda, Toyota, a little economical car? I have that because I want people to think that I'm bossing up, that I can afford it. Oh, she can afford a BMW, you know? So, again, once again, it's for sure. And, hey, life is short. That's fine if that's what you want to do. But I always do things to please you. It's like my grandfather, he used to always say, uh, if you don't look good to yourself, you don't look good to nobody else. You know, at the end of the day, name brands don't make you. You make the name brand. Ricky, he always would say, you don't make the... Uh, the clothes don't make you, you make the clothes, you make the clothes look good. So it don't matter what kind of brand you got on. If you look good, you making the clothes look good because you look good. <laughs> so we got to stay prioritized in life, you know, and we got to remember that. But I just remember that was so funny. And then, you know what, let me tell y'all something. Even the scripture says, do not store for yourselves treasures on earth where wrath where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. A lot of times when you got all this hundred thousand dollar jewelry on everywhere, you simply become a target. You can't go in uh certain neighborhoods because you gonna find yourself in a world of trouble. You know, so once again it, some of that just does not make sense. But hey, you tell me why do people wear real jewelry instead of fake jewelry? And it all look just the same. Nobody gonna know. You know, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret that I do a lot of times. I get my jewelry, I got so much costume jewelry. And some of it is gold and some of it looks chrome. And baby, I dip it in a um a, an acrylic paint, baby, it lasts long. It don't fade or nothing like that. And so I can use my money for gas and for my kids' cars. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's just, it makes sense to me. So it's a win-win situation. But I love y'all. And thank you, Shula King, for this point. We needed to hear that, okay? Why wear real jewelry when you can wear fake jewelry and it look just the same? You see what I'm saying? Why get you some Gucci glasses when you can get two dollar glasses and they look just the same? You see what I'm saying? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, let's get off the shenanigans. We all are living a real life. We all have real bills. We all have real credit cards. The majority of us are just normal people. So, hey, let's just be normal, okay? All right. I love y'all. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, peace and love.